Hey guys, welcome back to Small Bits of Happiness YouTube channel. Today we're sharing our top tips on how to balance your life. Family, friends, self-care, work, school, chores, passions, hobbies. There are so many avenues to express ourselves, people to surround ourselves with, and to spend our time on. But we want and sometimes need to do it all. But time is finite. But how can we balance all of these different aspects of our life? Find out how in this week's video. Also, make sure to stay till the end of the video for a free gift. One, notifications. When you're spending time in one avenue of your life, it's a good idea to just be in the present moment and soak it all in. But this can get kind of challenging if we're at a family dinner, but we keep getting text messages on our phone from our friends, or we're desperately refreshing our inbox to see if the new grade for a school assignment has come in yet. Just mute any notifications that don't apply to the occasion at hand. Two, to-do list. Making a to-do list, especially the night before, is super helpful because the next morning you know exactly what you need to start with and how your day is going to look like. I also suggest making a weekly list. For example, on Sunday you can look forward and write down everything that you're gonna be planning on doing from Monday all the way till Friday or Saturday and just schedule it all out. If you notice though that you're hanging out with your friends like six times in one week, which is a lot, but also really fun, <laughs> Maybe it's also time to schedule in some time for family time, or if you really desperately need to clean your room, you should probably also write that in. Three, self-worth. While we are all constantly striving to ensure that all the different parts of our life are fulfilled, it's important that we don't measure our own self-worth by our productivity. Feeling really tired? It's okay to reschedule plans or push that load of laundry onto tomorrow. Got super busy this evening with schoolwork? It's okay to make tomorrow a self-care day and maybe not go to an event. Don't attach your self-worth to how much work you get done or how much time you spend with others. Always strive to be your best, but remember, we are all human. There is always going to be tomorrow and the act of balancing means sometimes putting more attention on one aspect on one day and then less attention or none at all on that same aspect on a different day. Four, buddy. If you know you're gonna miss something, have a friend or a buddy fill you in. For example, if you're sick today and you can't make it to class, just text a friend or your buddy and ask them, hey, can you just fill me in on the work either tomorrow at school or can you call after school and let me know what I missed. This way you can go into the situation prepared and you know exactly what you missed. Five, evening. We often get so busy doing things for others, chores, activities, even just spending time together. Well, of course, spending time with others and doing things for others is also mutually beneficial to us and to our happiness. It's also important to prioritize downtime. But I know what you're thinking. I don't have time. I get it. So take time for yourself in the evening. It doesn't have to be long. Self-care does not have to equate to an entire day. It totally can, but taking a nice warm shower, doing skincare with a nice playlist or candle on in the background, writing about your day in a journal, and all while having your devices on Do Not Disturb counts. So now for our free gift for you, click the link below in the description for a guide on how to cancel plans because we all need a bit of a break sometimes. Also, if you made it to this point in the video, be sure to comment down below which of these hacks you're gonna try. Be sure to join our happiness family, it's totally free and we'd love to have you. You can do that by subscribing to this YouTube channel, giving this video a big thumbs up and clicking the notification bell down below. Bye!